Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to go over all my fave brushes. I think I've done a very similar video to this before, but someone requested an updated one. So here I am showing you literally all my favorite brushes, everything I love that I would recommend if you're looking for brushes to get. And these are a mix of affordable and higher end. So we've got a good mix in there. Let's just get into it. These are brushes like that make my life so much easier when I do my makeup going in any particular order just grabbing and showing and talking and that's it so number one this is so random it's the morphe what is this v106 brush it's so tiny it's so cute this is like a perfect little brush for if you have like a smaller face and you want to do precision blush i love it i don't know what's going on why it's like doing that weird stuff but it's a really good brush nonetheless you I love putting it just on the apples of my cheeks, apply a little bit of blush if I want it to be more concentrated, or mid-tone blush if I want to put it like right here, do a light pink color. So, so good. Love it. Next brush, we got this Hourglass Dual Ended. I think it's a powder brush, or I'm not sure the name, but it's the Dual Ended brush. That's like the biggest one they have. This, I love. I It took me a while to grow to like this thing. But I actually really do like it. I love the like angledness. I love the points. I love how fluffy they are and how easily they apply. Especially if the powder, they're, these are for powder, is like a finely milled powder. They just pick it up so well and disperse the product so well. So good. So I love this side for bronzer because of how like I can get in my little cheek right here. Do bronzer. So good. I do like my little whatever bronzer really good this side i actually this is kind of random but i take it i use blush like if i want to do just like a really big blush color and without like more of like a sun-kissed blush not necessarily precision blush i will use this and i just go like this press it into my blush and i use it to apply and i normally use this with an hourglass blush from the palette so really good i also use this side for finishing powder too and i'll take like the finishing powder from hourglass and go over and it adds a little bit of dewiness and shine so really good next the rare beauty brush for cream blush that was a mouthful but it's really good it has like that duo fiber if you know what i'm saying with a little pointy i mean you can tell how much i love these by how dirty they are so apologies but yeah, this is really good for lightly applying cream blush because of the way the bristles are. It's really, really like, and it just evenly applies the product. It doesn't pick up too much product. You can press harder for like more, more pigmentation, press lighter for less pigmentation. It's so good. And that angle is like perfect for the cheek area. So good. I love this. I love dipping my dipping this in my blush and applying i love putting my blush on and blending with this like everything it's so versatile for blush next is the patrick ta dual ended i think this is like the contour bronzer brush really cute i love the packaging anything dual ended i'm obsessed with i'm actually mainly talking about this side here the fan brush it's like dense the it's the perfect shape to fit in right here in my cheek area when i apply bronzer or when I apply a cream contour, so good. I literally am just like, boop. Like it takes three seconds to blend because of the shape, so good. This side I actually don't use as much because of how pigmented my bronzer is. It's so pigmented that when I use this, it gets a little bit too dense for me and too dark. So I've actually been using this hourglass one instead. So kind of unfortunate, but if you have like a less pigmented bronzer, this would be good. I just have the Charlotte Tilbury one and it's crazy pigmented and doesn't really work with this brush to be honest. Next, okay, we're definitely going out of order here, but this is the Tarte Kabuki like ginormous face brush. I've been seeing this kind of viral online just from a lot of creators, but it's really good. It's like a huge Kabuki brush, Kabuki, Kabuki brush. It's ginormous, like it literally stamp i could stamp my whole face in five seconds with this stuff so good i love it for applying like quick foundation quick tinted moisturizer just whatever base product i have applies so quick and like pretty seamless with this so love this speaking of blending face products i love this hourglass cream concealer brush yes okay concealer brush the shape of it amazing the fibers amazing how well it blends, amazing. It's so good. 
I do, I will say I have to clean this like more often than my other brushes because it picks up so much product. I don't know what that's about, but it blends so well and the shape is amazing for like getting right up underneath my eye and just killing it. So good. You can be precise with this. You can blend everything. Streaking is minimal. So good. Patrick Ta double-ended nose contour. Again, Patrick Ta slays the game. Okay, this side amazing this side amazing i use the dense side to just go in with my cream contour and knock it out i can knock it out in like four strips like one two three four so good and then to blend i use the other side it's like a big diffusing brush and i can just go in blend it out looks really good really natural amazing i haven't tried this with the powder but i'm sure it would work the same really good the real techniques Finishing powder, setting powder, but I don't know what this is, but it's a really tiny brush, setting powder, whatever. If I want to do some last minute, like under eye, perfect, like blend out, put some little setting powder, amazing. This stuff, this is what I use. I've had two of these brushes now just because they kind of start to get gross at the end, like chip off, but I love it. I have not found anything I love better for putting on under eye powder, especially the Charlotte Tilbury one, the Kosas one. <sighs> The one size one, the Pat McGrath blurring one, all of them I use this little brush with and like probably my favorite brush out of all these is this one just because I've had it forever and this has been like my OG brush forever. I have this BK Beauty 202 brush which is so random because I don't really wear eyeshadow too much but this thing kills it with the eyeshadow if you're if you are like a natural one color kind of bronzy you use your bronzer as eyeshadow type of girl this is a good brush for you because it has fluffiness to it but it's also dense enough to apply one singular color blend out the edges and like drag it under your eye just a little bit for some dimension so good is it this is it for me this is all i need if i only need one it would be this one last but not least it's not a brush but i had to mention it's the Shiseido Eyelash Curler, and here she is in all of her glory. So good. I think any, like this is the best eyelash curler out there in my opinion. It's so good. You only need one for the rest of your life, and it's this one. It's so good. Like just replace the pad, you're good to go. Something about it, like look at my lashes. Something about it curls my lashes so well, even on like a no mascara, no makeup day. So good, amazing, holds the curl, curls so well, doesn't pinch. It's the perfect like width to really get in there and it's not like too, too wide, too thin. It's just perfect, amazing. What else can I say? I don't know how, like what they did to make this kill it, but they, they did something. If I could pick a favorite in this entire video, it's the lash curler and it's the setting powder brush because these two are like on a really natural makeup day, my faves. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and that was helpful. Let me know any questions or video suggestions you have down below. I appreciate you being here and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.